Welcome to Geek's Corner, I'm Mr. Daps. And I'm Johnny Five. And I'm Haley. So why are you Johnny Five tonight? We're splitting this up weird. I know, I thought it'd I'm, be fun. I'm Johnny Five because I'm finally done with weddings for the year. <laughs> so five five grooms over the summer all all saw isn't all that a, have Isn't have that a movie? Seen. Five five grooms? Four weddings and a Four weddings and a funeral. That's nope, the one. I'm gonna do that like... one. I'm gonna do three weddings and nothing else. That's the goal. The next wedding is next year, so let's <laughs> now I only have to put on a suit for this show. Fantastic. So um if you're watching with us live, you can can comment, and we'd love to hear them. We just got five questions from Danny Ortiz, because we will be doing a fast five round at the end, where and we if, answer questions as quickly as we can. And if nobody else asks questions, they'll we're all using be from those Danny Ortiz. five. I already I already <laughs> copied them into my notes. But um, so yeah, share this, get more people, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We did really great last week. It was fun, um, and and that's a great thing. Um, what also happened last week is Ragtime Robert returned to Disneyland. Which was the reason that we uh, we included him in our episode this week because we're very happy to have him back because he's fantastic. Sort of a hat tip. Yeah, it's a huge hat tip to from one hat to another because yeah, he wears a hat at Disneyland most of the time. Most of the time, unless it's it really hot. really hot, which might have happened during that video. I think it did, yeah. and it was really hot, and it it's going to be really hot this weekend too. Which because is, it's officially fall, and it's Dapper Day. When it's Dapper Day, it's going to be hot in the fall, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm not wearing a jacket, I'm wearing a vest. Johnny is gonna dying. Die. <laughs> <laughs> and Haley dying. actually looks very comfortable. I'm fine right now. <laughs> yeah, so um this Friday and it kind of is Saturday too, because they're yes. like doing an expo thing yes. for this Dapper Day thing. They're kind of commercializing it, which I don't know how I feel about it. It was like that first Did they have the expo? as well, yeah. I just didn't they, notice they it. Sold out, the man. expo's getting bigger. Bigger. Because I saw there's like thirty one vendors. And I was like, 31 vendors for Dapper Day? Why not? I didn't go look at like any of the vendors or anything last year, but I wanted to, so I'll try and do that. If you do, take some pictures or video, and yes. we'll show it next week. And, Selfie uh, with every vendor. Sure. You could interview them with your phone. I guess the phone iPhone 6 won't phone. be out yet, but oh, uh, you, can, it you can interview it with Tyler's phone. Great! Because, yeah, he's a producer. That's what he's there for. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Dapper I mean, Day so is, is like four days away. If you haven't seen this live or you're not watching this live, it'll be three, two, or one day away. Or maybe it's already or passed. Or far in the past. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but so, technically also in the future. If like they, Christmas. If they aren't ready... <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, if they haven't already gotten ready for um, Dapper Day and mm -hmm. they have to go shopping last minute, what do you do? You can really look anywhere and you may be able to find some sort of gem anywhere you could order online from unique vintage they always have fast shipping if you're in california at least i guess florida probably has more time anyway um but i mean you can you never know what you can find like i feel like skirts like fuller skirts are becoming more in fashion and mm -hmm. any sort of silhouette that would be similar in more mainstream places so good luck hunting but you'll probably have to search yeah, I, I think it's legwork at this point. You don't yeah. have the luxury of going on Amazon.com and being like, oh, I like that hat, mm -hmm. if you're a guy. Um, 
us guys have it a lot easier. You can go to just about any store that sells menswear and you're going to look dapper just because people are shocked that you put on a tie. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> that's true. You know what? Not a clip on this Here, If you want a fun It'll thing on stuff. Dapper Day, stand on Main Street and watch the guys come in. And you're going to be like, hmm, that's a unique interpretation of dapper. <laughs> <laughs> Unique interpretations of dapper. Tumblr. Com. Somebody, that's on that's on you, internet. That's like and guys, I, I'm so just gonna tell you right now. Reblog. The t-shirt tux doesn't count because I saw that. What in the, if it's a did you really see classy spring? t-shirt tux? I no, did. I saw it in the spring, and and he was with all these girls that were dressed like you, and then t-shirt tux guy, and I was like, Mm-mm, <laughs> nope. I think he even had jeans on, so mm. yeah, it was total not okay yeah. in any level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get a tie anywhere. Bow ties are a little bit harder to find. I think you have to go to JCPenney's, Macy's. Um, i trying to remember where else I can find them. Oh, Burlington Coat Factory has them. Oh, they should just make Macy's pennies. In fact, Burlington Coat Factory is a great way, guys, if you want to go last minute and not stress too much and probably find something. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you are looking for Kohl's vintage too. stuff, I feel like downtown Fullerton actually has a lot of stores like there's a bright purple one called el pachuco that has like like swing dance attire yeah all the way down. and if you and go if down you'd Harvard, like us to wear your stuff let us know and we'll wear it on the show only if it's our size though if if it's only like, if it's my size for him it doesn't matter because we like to make him look silly anyway <laughs> <laughs> so um Haley, some like talk us. about your dress Oh, did you, who are you wearing? wearing? What's the story? Who are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. I did get this on Unique Vintage, I think. Okay. And it was on sale. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, it's on sale for like a lot off, so I'm just going to get it. <laughs> I, and so you, you got it, and, and got now it. now you're going to wear it and take um, lots of pictures on it. Yeah. Um, so the goal is, is as many people as you possibly can get pictures with Haley, and then we're going to make a video that's going to be like 15 seconds long. You're not in front of the camera. Tyler, too, because Tyler's going to be next to Haley. You can't ask him to take all the pictures. He has to be in them. Um, He's the one who looks like a teenager on Howard. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we're going to get as many pictures as we can of you with different people in the park on, on Friday. And then we're going to make a video out of this. With whatever music we decide. In 30 seconds. Great. It's a 30 second video, no matter how many pictures we get. So if it's five, it's going to be a really a lot boring, <laughs> boring video. But if we had 500, it could get kind of funny. Like, we'll have to get creative then. So yes. um, that can make it fun. So if you if you want to know the details about this, um, there is no Mark Twain this year because it's being uh, refurbished. So they're going to do... Uh, Basically, their their get together thing is on the uh, carousel after dark. And is remember, that the only one because I haven't. Looked I'm at pretty it. sure that's the only one. <laughs> Isn't that the uh, only time you go on the carousel? Like that's that's I guess. the time to go on the carousel. Yeah, it says join our Dapper Derby by riding King Arthur carousel anytime after sunset. Dapper um, Derby. Mm-hmm. And then um, they have the Dapper Day Expo, which is actually Dapper Days Expo because it's it's Friday and Saturday, and that's over at the Grand Californian. Um, there's going to be 30 plus merchants there, as I, I said before. Um, and then on Saturday night from five to seven at the same place, I'm assuming they're going to have a wrap party. Hmm. So you can, they you can wrap it up. So you folly. can just freestyle, drop a beat. The folly? I don't see that. thought it. They have a folly event. I didn't make it up, I swear, because I do it. See? Oh, they the Dapper what? Day sketch? Oh, folly. There you go. It's, yeah, uh, which it's... is... I think about, Friday, September yeah. 12th from 10.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. at the Jazz Kitchen in yep. downtown Disney. Nice. $10 in advance at DapperDay.com or $15 at the door. You do have to be 18 or older. And that's the first time they've had it 18 and older, though. Yeah. Before it used to be 21. Oh, okay. Wow. So they're opening up to a few more people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And then lastly, if you, you have a hard time with your hair, they're going to have um, hair and makeup for $100. That's it. No big deal. Um, and I that, think but you, I feel like you get a better product than you would at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So same price. Result for price. I think I think it's a better deal. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that I have experience. Let's move on. <laughs> That'd make a great segment. No, wouldn't we've it? talked about this before, and I, I comments it and I if you'd like no, to see. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, that would totally be, fine, guys. That would be really not, not really fun. I am seeing your questions, and I'm copying them over, and I will use them as we go throughout the night. That's absolutely fantastic. See, I'm copying it there. Mikey really likey. Mikey really likey. Yep, Mikey really likey's on Welcome tonight. Back, so is Danny Ortiz, and I don't know who else. Um, Danny's watching. 
Who is? Annie. Annie's watching got too. Danny Fantastic. And Annie and Danny and Annie. Danny, Annie. It's a musical Freddy here. Um, it's Danny. I don't know. It's Danny. We yeah, have Danny? exactly. So if name is Danny, let us know. That's the Dapper Day thing. If you've got any questions, we'd be happy to um, to try to address them for you. But for now, um, uh, we're going to... Address. Gonna... Waka waka. We're going to move on. So over the week, I gave you a, a assignment because somebody yeah. online said Somewhere. that they saw Groot from. in Tomorrowland. What? Yes. Like like in a planter somewhere. The like dancing they had, they had Groot in Tomorrowland in a planter that had been planted there. So what we did is is we thought it'd be great to send Johnny to investigate and go find Groot in Tomorrowland. And uh, this is what happened. Hello everyone, this is Johnny5, and today I am on the hunt for Groot. So last week while we were filming Geek's Corner, somebody told me that somewhere in Tomorrowland there is a Groot that has been created and hidden. Uh, so I decided that today is the day to look for that and discover where it is. For those of you who don't know, Groot is a character from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy. That would be that movie. He's a giant tree creature. This one. That's, uh, that... Yes, that one. That is the Groot we're looking for. Hey! Hey, Mr. Daps, I'm looking for Groot. Have fun. Now, you know that we do our best here at Daps Magic to never report on rumors and claim them to be true. So that's why, after hearing this rumor, we decided that it was time to investigate and ensure that people are, in fact, getting the correct information uh, and not just passing along something that turns out not to be true. So it's cool. I feel like the Disney Mythbusters. And there's a very high likelihood that this might just be a walking tour of every planter in Tomorrowland uh, with no result whatsoever, but either way, it'll be fun. Let's get going. Right, so I don't think just any tree will count. Uh, we gotta really make sure we're looking for something out of place and unusual. Something that obviously has some care and detail put into it. Too leafy. Not enough of a tree. Mm, too much of a tree. Probably not a Groot, but man, that looks like an alien plant. Tree, 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 mini ears, tree. And then this is just one of my favorite spots in Disneyland in general because it's the only place in the world you can see palm trees right next to a snow-capped mountain. Let's see, this one's got a lot of different types of trees. Are any of them a Groot? No. Hey, there's a Guardians of the Galaxy thing. If I were a Groot, I'd hang out in this area. So let's check these planters. For something Groot-like. No. Hmm, no luck on Groot yet, but uh, back there is definitely an Easter egg. Like a big blue Easter egg. Not a Groot. 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 And no Groots here either. Alrighty guys, well I think it's time to call it. Uh, I've been looking all over Tomorrowland and I have not seen any signs of a Groot other than on posters and things like that. The one thing I can say for certain is that I was not able to find it. Uh, I'm not certain if that means that it's not there at all or if it's just really well hidden. If it's not there, then somebody punked me really good. This has all the elements of a really successful myth. Uh, it sounds just plausible enough that it might be true, but it also sounds just weird enough that you're skeptical enough to want to go find out for yourself. If you do see it, please post a picture on the internet. Uh, I have not seen any pictures on the internet. I have not even seen this myth on the internet other than uh, through whoever told me. So uh, if you find anything, if you get any information, uh, then just post it and let people know and, and spread the good news that there is in fact a Groot. Um, if you look and you are unsuccessful, post that as well and uh, let people know that there may in fact not be a Groot. Uh, so that's all I can say for now. This is Johnny5. Have a good one. Hello everyone, this is John. <laughs> well done, sir. Yes. Um, it I've... didn't come through in the video almost at all, but um, as you're walking up to the Space Mountain queue, mm -hmm. uh, there if you look underneath where that ramp turns up, there's a planter that extends back there, and there's a big blue egg sitting back there. Uh, so just go and peek it. Like, you cannot get a very... I, I so there was an Easter not. egg this there week in Geek's Easter Corner. Egg. Yes. And, and that's when I was going around, like, asking people, is there this actual thing? How many people did you ask? Uh, probably six. Uh, <laughs> like, it was everyone at the Guardians of the Galaxy preview thing, because I figured they'd know, and that wasn't it. And then I just, Is it really still a preview, or is it a review? It's a it's a redux. I don't know. <laughs> yeah.
So uh, nobody knew, but they were all excited and like, oh, if you find it, let me know. It was the first time I've ever asked about a rumor and didn't just get a direct like, no, that's not true. So <laughs> I'm I feel like we need to buy one of those dancing groups and go put it in Tomorrowland right? and just video people walking by until security <laughs> decides to get rid of it. Right. If, if, if they make a motion activated one that dances <clears throat> as you pass it. I like the, the fish. Yeah. Yeah, we should we should. Get... <laughs> yeah, put a big mouth Billy Bass right next to a dancing Groot. That's classiest See which one works ever. better. Yeah, yeah. I, I love this idea. I think that'd be hilarious, even if we did lose Groot. Yeah, but he'll grow back. It'd be worth it. Yeah. Totally. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna move right along. Um, we're gonna kind of stay at Disneyland, but kind of leave also. Halloween starts at Disneyland this week. Mm-hmm. Weird, because it's it's yeah. You know, it's September. Yeah, which sounds like it's not October, fall yet. So. But we're gonna go with it. My house yeah. is already decorated. I know. I saw on was it Instagram. Are you a target? If you're not following it, is it Haley the Hatter yes. at Instagram? So you can follow her. Uh, your J five Daps, Daps and Mister Daps over here. Um, so Halloween starts on Friday. So the question has to be asked: What's your favorite thing about Halloween at Disneyland? Going. You don't have a favorite it's attraction, hot. a favorite show, a favorite well, character, a favorite... Like, most people, I think, would automatically go to the Jack and Sally meeting outside of the Haunted Mansion oh thing. Like, God, that's always a to... huge thing. Right? Yes. So what's your favorite? Well, I like that. <laughs> you do answer. like that. Oh, okay, I stole your answer. <laughs> my my favorite will probably never happen again, but it was definitely the year where they tried to do the haunt thing at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Or, like, as you're writing pirates of the caribbean there were actual pirates who would come through the bars of the jail cell right up to your boat and yell sounds like you. something out of jurassic park a little bit yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh, what i was saying yeah um halloween dapper dans are always really fun yeah cadaver dance. i like the cadaver, cadaver dance. dance i thought they were fun last year yeah, yeah. i i agree you win Yay. you win on that actually to this day and i haven't heard it they since last haunted halloween train. but i i still have the, the main street trick-or-treat lyrics in my head Whatever that actual song is, whenever they sing it, I'm hearing the Main Street trick or treat version of it. So okay. it's a very do you you have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know which it's, I mean they do a lot of their songs. It's in the one that ends with Oh look a Mickey Mouse pump, pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Hollow, like yeah. that that part is still in my head. So yeah, I, I good know job, Dapper Dan's. Way to change next a time, song yeah, for next ever. Time. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to do that. Yeah. Then you do what? I want change a song forever. So I, I'm gonna say what I wish they would do, and I wish that they would make a Halloween layover for It's a Small World. I've no. been saying yes. I agree. Yes, I agree. It would be Zombie. the scariest thing yeah. ever. <laughs> Switch it into a minor key. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Change the lighting a little. Like it really wouldn't take that much. Yeah. Just turn off all the lights. Have a fog machine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it down. Make it all black light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just. Just black ride light to, and just fog. ride Small World in pitch black darkness. Ugh. Change zero <laughs> about it, but turn off all of the lights and put in the creepy music, and that's it. Sure, why not? That, that, I think that would creeped out thinking. About maybe it. in that case, they don't have to change any of the, yeah. this, the stuff, so they could actually do that just for Halloween parties, and that would actually make it more worth, cool for worth the money. Party. Yeah, because um, that's the only place where you can see that the. Halloween screams fireworks and yeah. uh, that's a really good the cavalcade show. where you can see. I'm assuming they'll have Miss Piggy again, and um, that's always that, she's scary. That confused <laughs> me so much. So right here, you didn't notice is Haley's purse. And I was like, what's on the corner of the desk? <laughs> but okay, uh, yeah. So that's that'll be that'll be really cool. Um, but that's not all that's happening this Halloween. No, it's not. We have now expanded our reach beyond <laughs> Disneyland, and we will be now covering Knott's Berry Farm for Halloween. You're yeah. you're you're safe. You're, you're safe. It's me and it's Tyler. So back there. Murray, Tyler, and and Johnny Five will be going to the opening night, I believe, of of Super Not Scary excited. Farm, and we're gonna film it. Yeah, and we're yeah. gonna have videos, and you're gonna hear Johnny Five cry like a little girl. Yeah, a little bit. And I know this because I've gone to movies with him. It happens. It happens. Um, <laughs> um, and here, here's the thing: with is both like, of them. and I, I think, I think me and Tyler are on the same page. I'm not gonna assume what's same in your page. brain. I am not looking forward to it at all. I am absolutely miserably terrified. How do you feel? But, but I'm, I'm actually looking forward to going. Like. It's going to be fun, well, but, like, but petrifying. I, I'm looking forward to editing the footage afterward. I'm not looking forward to filming it. 
That's basically I'm what looking it is. forward to watching the yeah, footage yeah, yeah. afterwards. We're gonna we're gonna upload everything that is appropriate for this. <laughs> How come the video be... is only fifteen seconds long and it's all yeah. Johnny crying? I've, I've been watching past hangings and we'll upload as much of it as we can get away with, but it might not be very much at all. It's gonna be one of those production meetings. Can we do this, Mr. Depps? Yeah. No. Yeah. Can we do this? No. <laughs> second by second decision making. It's, great. It works. It yeah. happens. Yeah, so um the important part about this though is we're open to covering other things so if you'd like us to cover your show your event whatever um if we can fit it into our brand we're more than happy to send one of the three of us out mm -hmm. and um and three, make it four, seven, three four twenty five yeah, yeah. it'll be great we got a great team mm -hmm. and and so we'd happy be happy to do that um and mikey really like you referring to the halloween thing says as if small world wasn't creepy enough i'm gonna have nightmares tonight <laughs> i'm so sorry mikey really like you but uh please tell us if they're good uh good nightmares so um we <laughs> the mary blair witch project yeah the mary... <laughs> <laughs> that one was actually funny funny um <laughs> that totally just ruined what we we're gonna throw to <laughs> sorry wow. so we thought it'd be fun to throw random videos in too and and so the first thought i had was like let's do a random video uh what's something you don't see every day so I thought, hey, how about I the do. Splash from Splash Mountain? So we're going to present you with the Splash from Splash Mountain. How come you are laughing? That way, Splash, so we hope you enjoyed the splash with no sound. That's that's <laughs> we did that intentionally. No this was the Peter Pan edition of Splash Mountain. No that's, splash. That's actually a, a nightmare I used to have when I was a kid. Is that moment? So as oh, as... I'm watching it now. This is great. <laughs> Welcome to Lag the Musical. Hey, but the video looks fantastic. There's just okay. no sound. It's weird. We'll, I'll, we'll look at that later. There but, wasn't uh, much of a splash anyway. Maybe that was a problem. That, anyway, yeah. go ahead. Uh, but as as the log would go down, I would fly straight out of it. I don't think it was a nightmare. Like I would actually like Peter Pan fly around Disneyland because there's no seatbelts in that. Log. Wouldn't it be horrible if gravity turned off? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Which I'm I'm sorry, but uh, can you hold on a tree in, and, and pull up? Is the spoiler of Guardians of the Galaxy? At this time, if they haven't there, seen there's it, there's a fault. moment where the gravity turns off and uh, everyone yeah. just stops what they're doing. And, and like they were all about to fire guns, and I'm like, even if gravity turned off, wouldn't you still be holding onto your gun and you could still fire it? Yeah, I would. Like hope you turn so. off but gravity, would... all of a sudden everyone lets go. But of remember, everything they're holding the recoil would shoot you back. All right, care. so it's time for a anyway. fast five. That means there's five. five questions. You have to answer them quickly and loudly and concisely. So, yeah. so if you uh, let's let's ask this: When was your first time going to Disneyland? Young, young. Yes. Also, I was two. six. I was Two or three or something like that. Like okay. Very young. Same year. It was great. Um, what's your favorite Disney movie of all time? Ah. All of them. Um. Even Treasure Planet? I like Come the on, soundtrack man. to Treasure Planet. <laughs> it's got a good soundtrack. Fast. 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 Your turn. So, Alice in Wonderland. Time. That's your favorite movie? Yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's go. Uh, Oliver and Company. Really? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, so what Disney ride or attraction would you like to see made into a movie or TV series? One I don't care too much about because it doesn't usually go well. <laughs> Pirates turned out okay. Pirates was yeah, Pirates was good. Um, I, I, it's all it should be happening, but I want to see the Haunted Mansion movie come out good. The, the redone the, the, Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I want to say Guillermo del Toro is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that okay. the name in it? Yes. I want to see that, that one. happen. Really? You guys I don't can't know. steal. Something about being in the TARDIS just. Mm. 
Um, I, I actually you think... You didn't say you couldn't steal. I didn't. You're right. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I, I've got a two-part question. I'd love to see a return of, of this Splash Mountain thing and actually get to see the movie. Um, but uh, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going in go. the past instead of in the future. But um, so wouldn't it be cool... Part. This is Walt Disney World more of anything. But uh, Journey into Imagination. I thought you were going to go with Maelstrom. Okay. But Journey into... <laughs> Under New Imagination. <laughs> No, I, I just think I think that'd be kind of cool, like, and out of the box Tiki or room movie. Uh, huh? Tiki Room TV show. Tiki Room. <laughs> <laughs> that wins. <laughs> here's here's the hard question, and it's gonna get somebody in trouble. Me. If you could it. remove an attraction from Disneyland, what would it be? And you can thank Mikey really likey for that one. Let's let's see if I can do this effectively and, and reverse get out of trouble. Uh, I would. I would. Remo- it's already gone. I would remove Winnie the Pooh and put Country Bears back in. Well played. Woo! Well played. First good answer on Beach yeah. Corner in four years. <laughs> I like to try. <laughs> Your turn. Gosh. Shh. Apparently, it tells me when it's an hour now. I, okay, because I'm. That's a good answer too. <laughs> okay, but you can come up with one. Well, the only attraction that I don't. Well, I've never been on it. I don't like California Screaming because I've never been on it. That's the only one. Okay, and it's not really Disney. Like it's just a, I mean it's 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 an advanced uh, roller coaster. What you don't like it either? No, no, no I do. I do like it. Oh. You said that's on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Fix this. Fix it. Uh, <laughs> we should video that. <laughs> no, <I'm not> sure. <laughs> that needs to be a <laughs> segment because we didn't get our ALS video. Yeah. I think yeah. this is a great but comments. It'll be good. We are going on um, rock and roller coaster in Florida, so she has to write streaming before we go. So yeah, because that'll prepare you. So that's great. Okay. Very good. But we don't need a video of it. Oh, we do. <laughs> we do. Um, yeah. I would remove interventions and put something awesome yeah. there. I, Fair enough. A couple of years ago, I would have disagreed, but it's it's time. It, it doesn't have up, purpose, up and it doesn't have. I think we have one more question. <laughs> what um, fast six? If you could choose an animated, was that was that the fifth one? I thought that was fourth. Thought... We're gonna do this one, one plus anyway. One plus two. It's a clue reference. Um, anyway. Okay, so if you could choose any animated feature to re- be remade into live action, what would you choose? Because Disney is doing this, so which one would you like to see done? I do have an answer. Oh, I'm glad. Um, okay, I know there was like a Snow White movie, but I really want to see a Snow White movie where it like covers all... Like a real all Snow White? Them, like a real Snow White movie where it covers all three of the things and not just the apple. Okay, sure. Because that's never addressed. Three of yeah. the three. The queen tries to get her three times, yeah. and not oh. just with the poison I haven't apple. Seen it in years. Yeah, I, I actually really like that idea. Yeah. And don't make the queen nice. Don't. I don't want a sympathetic queen. Yeah. I just want evil queen that wants to kill Snow White. Here's one. Yeah. Sword in the Stone. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's yeah. a really. <laughs> yeah. I can see it happen. I actually yeah. really like that one. With yeah. Ian McKellen as Merlin. <laughs> no, no, that that just it had Patrick to be Stewart? Benedict Cumberbatch, of yep. course. Yes, because <laughs> I could see them. He could do. Going, he could. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he could do do the old school thing, and I think that would be really yeah. awesome. Yeah. What about you, Princess and the Frog? Really? Oh, okay. okay. I think it would be better than the animated one. Oh okay. man. Um, uh, Tangled would also be okay. I don't, Both of those, I, don't I think. Don't know if the the the, see, the the three D ones qualify because they're like halfway between. Animated. What studio does it come from? It's from Disney. Yeah, it's there you Disney go. Disney World's fine, <laughs> but still, still, I want to see like classic hand drawn, like a Beauty and the Beast, but not. I don't want to go too far back because when you go to the the like classic ones, then that's that's a little difficult. I don't know. I'm. Let's just pretend that I stopped talking after yeah. the cool thing. Let's just <laughs> pretend that ended really quick there. Um, so that that's what we got for you for this week. We're probably way over time. I have no clue. We don't pay attention anymore. I thought we didn't have a time anymore. Uh, we anyway. don't have a time anymore, but I don't know anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna check the comments. Anastasia Barbosa is watching. What? Um, and mm-hmm. El Kicker, sir. We did talk about Dapper Day, so you can you can look that up at the beginning of the episode. And uh, I wonder if that's Annie, because she's she's a pirate. Yeah, and and Anna, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, remember that uh, all that Halloween stuff is coming. Look forward to those videos. Comment, subscribe, share, like. Lots of comments make us laugh, and we actually read them, and we they're do. fun. Um, but 
Anyway, that's all the time we got for you this week. Do you have anything else you want to add? Not a thing. All right. Make sure you get a picture with Haley this weekend. And uh, make sure that we get it so it can be in our video next week. And with that, we will see you around the corner. Geek out. Bye.